ಪೂರ್ಣಮದೂರ್ಣಮುದ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ವಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷಿಘೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರು ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೆ ವ್ಯೋಮವದ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಯ ಮುದೀರೇತ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ವರ್ಷ ನಂಬರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ತಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಓಂ ಇತಿ ಉದಾಹೃತ್ಯ ಪ್ರವರ್ತಂತೆ ವಿಧಾನೋಕ್ತ ಸತತ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮವಾದಿ ಐ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ತಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಓಂ ಇತಿ ಉದಾಹೃತ್ಯ ಯಜ್ಞದಾನ ತಪ ಕ್ರಿಯ ಪ್ರವರ್ತಂತೆ ವಿಧಾನೋಕ್ತ ಸತತ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮವಾದಿ ಸೀದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ತಸ್ಮತ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಓಂ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಓಂ ಇತಿ ದಸ್ ಉದಾಹೃತ್ಯ ಅಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಯಜ್ಞ ದಾನ ತಪ ಕ್ರಿಯಾ ದ ಆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಕ್ರಿಫೈಸ್ ಚೈರಿಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ಟೆರಿಟಿ ಪ್ರವರ್ತಂತೆ ಬಿಗಿನ್ ವಿಧಾನೋಕ್ತ ಐಜ್ ಇನ್ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಶತತ ಆಲ್ವೇಜ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮವಾದಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಸಿ ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೋಜ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ವೆಲ್ ವರ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವೇದಾಸ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಯಜ್ಞ charity and austerity which are mentioned by the scriptural injunctions take place after the utterance of o now we are going to complete this chapter which began with question of arjuna's question was very very beautiful very practical it is everyone's question he asked if someone does not follow or know the rules of the scriptures and worshiping with the faith what is status of that person now we have entered in previous class in the last verse shri krishna says yes we are human beings and as human beings mistakes can be made very easily only human can, human being can make mistakes because they can accept human being can realize they can realize that i have made mistake animals the words there is no possibility to make mistakes they are supposed to be here just act just act no perfection no mistakes 
we are human beings next to the God. So we are supposed to do work perfect. And oftenly we do that. Oftenly we do the work and we are satisfied with our work. But sometimes mistakes can come. And this is not wrong. In worldly activity, mistakes happen and we try to remove it. The topic is about spirituality. Very tough, very subtle of subject. Nothing is visible. So mistakes are very common. It is a not it is a not any crime, and God knows it. You are human beings. We can make mistakes because of there are some reasons. There are some reasons because sometimes there is a laziness in the body. There is a restlessness in mind. And what should be? The ideal condition is your body should be active and mind should be quiet. What here with us, things are almost opposite. Body is lazy, mind is restless. Then we can make mistakes easily. Sometimes, because we have limited, limited capacity, we have limited understanding, we have limited resources. So sometimes because of we don't have sufficient ingredients, sufficient resources to worship, we don't have sufficient time, there is a laziness, restlessness, and there may be other causes. So mistakes are possible. Animals, they, they cannot realize, they cannot realize that they have made mistake. Human being can realize uh, his mistakes, then that is why we can learn something. If you understand your mistakes, then we can improve. In spirituality, mistakes are very, very often, very quietly are possible. Sri Krishna says, no, it's okay, final, it's fine. In his spirituality, he is giving three names of the God to remove the mistakes, to take forgiveness from the God. He is giving three names of the God. One is Om, another is Tat, next one is Sat. Om, Tat, Sat. So first, he is taking about Om. And being a spiritual seeker, everyone knows about glory of the Om. Om, A, O, and Ma. The entire spirituality, you can understand in one single word and Om. So Om is the very nearest name of the God. In Yoga Sutra, Patanjali also says, Pranava Tassi Vachakaha. The name of the God is Pranav, means Om. Om is the name of the God. There are so many names of the God. If you read Vishnu Sastranam, Seva Sastranam, Ganapati Sastranam, 
there are thousands and thousands of thousands of names of Chaitanya, of God. There are thousands and thousands of names. And you can also put a name, your personal name to God. Nothing is wrong. Because, but these names are because of some Leela, because of some quality, like you say Krishna. Krishna means why we call Krishna? Because Krishna means the color is black, black color. So that time the Lord was in black color. So that is why we call Krishna. We call Vasudev because he was the son of the Vasudev. So there is a reason why we call Ram, Krishna, Sham, Damodar. So there are reasons. Om is unconditional. Om. So first name is Om. So Om Itti Udhairatya Yagyadan Tapakriyaha Pravartante Vidhanukta Satatam Brahma Vadina. The word is Brahma Vadi. Brahma Vadi means the person who has belief, who has faith in consciousness, in Chaitanya, in God. The person who believes there is something beyond the objects. Science does not believe. Scientists are not interested to doing some japa. Scientists are not ready to doing Hanuman Chalisha. Doctors are not ready to accept Mahamrityunjaya Mantra. They believe their science. And science does not believe in consciousness. Science believes in objects. If some doctor believes it, not as a doctor, if he believes because of a devotee. Om Brahma Vadina means the person who believes there is a consciousness, there is a God, then that person will do the yajna, the charity, the tapaha. And when I want to do something, I will try to find out, I will try to explore how should I do this work. Same, if someone wants to do tapaha, someone wants to do japa, any chanting, then he will start to exploring how should I do that? See, Krishna says, yes, you do. There may be mistakes. Just begin with Om and end with Om. Tasmad Om Ittyudhairate Just utter name Om like every talk, we used to say Om Purnamada, Purnamidam, Purnat, Purnamudachada. Now next one. Tad Itya Navishandhaya Palam Yagya Tapakriyaha Dan Kriyasya Vividha Kriyante Moksha Kangshibhi. I repeat again. Tad Itya Navishandhaya Phalam yagya tapa kriyaha dan kriyascha vividha kriyante moksha kaangchivi. See the word meaning first. Tat, tat means that. Iti, thus. Anabhisandhaya, without aiming it, it, phalam, fruit. Yagya tapa kriya, acts of sacrifice and austerity. Dan Kriya acts of charity and Vividha various Kriyante are performed Moksha Kanchivi by the seeker of liberation. 
see the translation after uttering word that various activity in the form of the yajna austerity and charity are undertaken by seekers of liberation without expecting the results now shri krishna is taking next word next name first was the om andar jitat om is very common everyone knows about om shri krishna is introducing new word tat in a upanishad you may have studied it tat tomasi tat means that one that one which one that one that one means what it is not visible but it is and where it is where it is he is not saying it is this is in the vaikunt he is not stating that he is in the uh, seventh heaven just he says that that is what the entire cosmos the entire phenomenon is god so everything so god is omnipresent everywhere this is the meaning of the tat tat means everywhere but you cannot see this is a miracle this is the miracle it is everywhere but it cannot be seen this is the miracle so one can start with om Uh, either you can start with the om or you can start with the tat tat is also same meaning same god tat means everywhere but you cannot see you can assume that it is very far away shri krishna says tat iti anabhisandhaya here two concepts we are doing the yajna yajna means sacrifices jatapaha austerity other kriyas other activities like charity etc vividha means various so there are unlimited activity in the name of the spirituality not only three there are unlimited activities the name of the spirituality where yes why we are doing this these activities the question why we are doing these activities what the purpose so sri krishna is giving two things here one is moksha kanchi bhi and phalam anavi anavi sandhaya whatever we are doing think what the purpose why we are doing we are not read, ready to do anything we are not ready to do we do not want monday monday is very very horrible terrible because monday means work we are working for what moksha kanchi bhi so everyone everyone knowingly unknowingly everyone wants liberation everyone wants and do not be scared in the name of the liberation it is not a status it is not a state of the highest in the heaven or the moksha very simple everyone wants freedom from the sorrow you cannot find a single person who wants to be miserable not only human beings even animals birds creatures even trees plants planets earth 
no one wants to be miserable everyone wants to be to be happy today world is happiness everyone is trying to get happiness happiness we means what i do not want to die freedom from the death this is the liberation freedom from the birth this this is the liberation freedom from the anger free freedom for we want freedom from everywhere that is the form of the moksha what is moksha moksha means you are free you have totally free you have got completely absolutely freedom freedom even from the body freedom from the mind you are unconditioned there is no any condition with you this is the liberation and everyone wants that liberation is there in doubt the only thing is we want happiness but i i think i assume that this object can give me happiness this wealth this property supposed to give me the happiness so that is why i try to collect i try to collect things because i feel insecurity i want to make secure myself this is the problem if i understand that this object this property can give me freedom and we want from the god oh god give me this property give me this and that so this is the mistake this is the mistake only thing is moksha kanchi bhi hi so that is why we are doing so many activities there are scriptural activities they are uh, social activities they are secular activities the only purpose is gedana tapa kriya various activity because we want freedom happiness and uh, before you start take just name tat ar om tat sat now next one सद्भाव साधु भाव चेत प्रयुज्य प्रशस्ते कर्मणि तथयुज्य आई रिपीट अगेन सद्भाव साधु भाव चेत प्रयुज्य प्रशस्ते कर्मणि तथा सच्छब्द पार्थयुज्य सी द ट्रांसलेट फर्स्ट वर्ड मीनिंग सद्भाव इन द सेंस ऑफ रियालिटी साधु भाव इन देंस ऑफ गुडनेस चा एंड सत मीन सत्ति दस एक देश प्रयुज्य इज यूज प्रशस्त ऑस्पीसीय कर्मणि इन सेंस ऑफ इन एक्ट तथा सो आसो सत सत शब्द द वर्ड पार्थ अर्जुन युज्य इज यूज नाउ सी द ट्रांसलेशन the word sat is used in sense of existence and goodness further the word sat is used in the sense of good action now third third name is coming first was om next was the stat then comes sat om tat sat om tat sat what is sad shri krishna says sad means he gives here five definition of sad five definitions of sad so sad means what first thing is sad sad means reality you know that sad existence Table is, chair is, 
building age, tree age, human being age. So this ageness, this ageness, so objects are different. Objects are different. Sometime it may be table, sometime it may be the chair, it may be building, it may be tree, it may be plant, planet, earth, water. But one thing is common. And one thing is common, that thing is the ageness. Age, age, age. So this is Sat. This is the Sat. So Sat means Sri Krishna Sat Bhave. Sat Bhave. Existence. So God is real existence. First Sat means the reality. Absolute reality. Unchanged reality. Always reality. So Sat means existence. Reality. Absolute reality. It is God. And it is everywhere. In the, in the form of each. This is, this is, this is, that is. Objects may destroy, may disappear and appear again and again. But ageness is commonly everywhere. Everywhere. Age, age, age. What is this age? This is Sat. So first definition is Sat Bhave. Sat means the existence. Sat Chidananda. The reality. It is not just imaginary. So God is not just imagination. God is absolute reality. So first Sat means the absolute reality. Then is sadhu bhav. Sadhu means sadhu means wow means what? Bhav means your emotion, your quality. Sadhu bhav, sadhu means the good, your goodness, your quality. Think if you are in the Himalayas, Kair, no one is there. You are totally alone. No one is there. And mm. that time, you are not good person, you are not bad person. If you are alone. In that state, because you are not interacting with the other, so you are not good, you are not bad. And see, remember, only human beings are good and bad. Animals are not, not good and bad. They are. They are as a, they are. No development, no goodness, no badness. They are made by the nature. They cannot change themselves. They cannot improve. They cannot make development. But human being. Human being is a challenge. Human being is a chance. It is a junction. It is a problem. It is a solution. Both. Both things at the same time. Human being is a problem. This is a solution. Both. If you are alone in the room, you are not good, you are not bad. If when you are comes out, you are coming out and interact the people, then people would say you are a good person, you are not good. Because your quality. Because of your, your quality, you will be judged. You are good because you have the good personality, good uh, the compassionate nature, you are merciful, you are kind. You are bad because you are so angry. You are trying to hurt someone. You are not good. Sadhu Bhave means 
in Sanskrit we call we call it Sad Purusha. Sad means the good person. The good person. And this good this goodness is not in the just a body. He is not Krishna is not talking about your face appearance. He is not talking about the uh, makeup. He is talking the inner inner beauty. Inner beauty means you are calm, you are quiet, you are helpful to the society, to the other. So that is how you are good or bad. Sadditeta prayujyate. Another prasaste karamani tatha satchapta parthi ujjate. And third thing Sri Krishna is giving uh, good action. Such prasaste karmani. Prasaste means the auspicious. Good activity. We see, we use always these words. Uh, this is existing. One meaning. This person is a good person. And this activity is a good activity. This activity is a bad activity. Prasaste karmani. If someone is doing some good work for the society, you say, you would, you would say, this person is doing good job, good work. So, prasaste karmani. You, you are a good person, but you are not doing anything good out of the, your quality. No one knows. No one knows you. You are good. You have to act. You have to sow. And so you must do something. So our prasaste karmani tatha sachabda parthi yujyata. Now next one. Yagge tapasi dhani cha stiti saditi chochate karma chaivata darthiyam sati teva vidhiyate. I repeat again. Yagge tapasi dhani cha stiti saditi chochate karma chaivata darthiyam sati teva vidhiyate. Now see the its word meaning. First, yagge, yagge means in sacrifice, tapasi in austerity, dane in charity, cha in sthiti, steadiness, sat means sat, iti das, cha and uchate is called, karma action, cha and eva also, tadarthiyam, in connection with the these are for the sake of the Supreme, Sat, Sat, Iti Das, Ev Even, Avidhiyate is called. Now see the translation. Steadfastness in Yajna, austerity, and charity is also termed as Sat. Again, any action for the sake of the Lord is indeed said. To be sat. So we have studied three definitions about sat. Two more definitions Sri Krishna will give in this mantra. He says, now think. Saditi yagge tapasi dhani cha. If we are doing some good activity for the society, for the people, they are good action. If you are running a school, you are giving the food to poor people, you are giving the medicine, clothes, houses, it's good. This is good. But this is the social work. Prasaste karmani, auspicious work. In previous verse, we have studied that. Sri Krishna says prasaste. So when we do something 
to the society, to the peer, poor people, uh, to the other. This is the prasaste, good activity. You must do. Here, the fourth meaning Sri Krishna says, Yagya tapasi dani chaha. Now you're talking about spirituality. Doing some charity is good. Opening schools, giving medicines, clothes, helping the poor, poor people is good. But you have to work for spirituality. Spirituality is different. It's good for your mental peace doing good social service. But for spirituality, you have to make some another efforts, like yajna. Yajna. Because you have concept about consciousness. There is some God. There is some consciousness. You can call it Brahman, Bhagavan, Supreme Consciousness. And for that Consciousness, this work is for that Consciousness which is not visible. I am doing the charity. Mm -hmm. I am doing the yajna. I am doing the yajna. No, yajna. I'm done. So, yajna. have a look. Yajna. I'm done. Yajna. No, no, it's nice. It's nice. So, yeah, very, very simple. Mm. So, yagya means yagya tapasi danecha. First thing is yagya. If you do the yagya, people can oppose it. They would say, Why are you warning? The ghee, the rice, this and that. You must give the poor people. They don't have idea about the consciousness. They would say. But if you know about the consciousness, then yagya can be done. Yagya. Tapasi. Same tap, austerity. Any scientist is not ready to do tapas in Himalaya. Any scientist, they may expand their life in laboratory. They can live through the life, throughout the life in laboratory. They can work with the objects, but they will not ready to go in the Himalaya doing some tapa. I just, I just, I just scientist, as a doctor, they are not ready to do these activities. They can do the social work. So see, social work is a different thing. Spirituality is a different thing. Yagya tapasidani cha. Sad iti So these, these activities are also, you can call it sad. And karma chaiva tadarthiyam. Now the very, very important topic comes. Very, very important. Because yajna, the dhan, the charity, they are prescribed by the scriptures. How to do this yajna? How to give this charity? How to do this austerity? There are descriptions in the scriptures. They may be sattvic, rajasic, tamasic. But important point is, which was asked by the Arjuna to Sri Krishna, the person who does not know the scriptural injunctions, but he has faith and worshipping what is his status? Now, answer is coming. Karam Chayvatadarthiyam. So there are so many, so many activities. You cannot 
consider the activity as a yajna, as a tapaha, as a charity. So there are so many activities, so many activities in name of the spiritual life. You are doing the japa, you are doing chanting, you are doing the mantra, you are doing the pilgrimage. So there are so many activities. So many activities. Chanting, bhajan, kirtan. Karam chaivata darthiyam. I am doing only for the God. My purpose is I am doing for the God. It is a sake for the God. But this is not charity. This is not yajna. This is not this and that. So there are so many uh, people around the globe. They do not know about the scriptures. They have their tradition. And they worship the God. They have their tradition. They do not know the scripture. And their tradition Maybe, maybe not, not match with the scripture, not supported by the scripture. But they are working, they are worshipping. Because if this is their, their tradition. So they have been worshipping, worshipping. See, so here Sri Krishna says, Karam Chaivata Dartiyam. The purpose is I am working, I am worshipping, I am doing this only for the God. I do not know the scripture. I cannot do this yajna. I am not doing the charity. I am not doing the charity. Sri Krishna says this is the five fifth one. Karma chaivata darthiyam sadite vavidete. Such activity uh, you can call it Sat. These activities you can call it as a Sat. So the fifth meaning of the Sat. I repeat again. First meaning is existence. Another meaning is good human qualities. Good human qualities. Then third meaning is good, good activity, good activity, social activity, good social activity. These are also sat. Then some scriptural activity like yajna, study. These are the fourth number meaning of sat. Then comes the fifth one, other activity, other activity. These are the Sadhitya vidhiyate, all are the sad. So eight, Sri Krishna gives five definitions of sad. So we have completed the home, tat, and sad. Sri Krishna says, according to Sri Krishna, Every, every seeker, every seeker, when he starts, when he starts doing any activity in the beginning, he must say, Om Tat Sat. And in the end, again the same mantra, you have to chant it, Om Tat Sat. They are all mistakes. All mistakes, knowingly, unknowingly, because the scriptures are so difficult to follow. So difficult to follow completely scriptures, not even nowadays, even the before. So only solution is, Sri Krishna is giving a very beautiful solution, just chant Om Tassiditi, and he says, even when Sishti was created by Brahmaji, he also chanted this mantra. 
in the beginning of the creation, when he was ready to create the universe, just before creation, he chanted Om Hari Om Tat Sat. But still, same mantra is working because creation is not going to end now. So again, Om Tat Sat is not going to steal it. Now, last one. Asraddhaya hutam dattam tapas taptam kritam chayat asadhityuchate partha nachatat pretya no iha. I repeat again this mantra. Asraddhaya hutam dattam tapas taptam kritam chayat asadhityuchate partha nachatat pretya no iha. See the word meaning. Asraddhaya without faith. Hutam is sacrificed. Dattam given. Tapa austerity. Taptam is practiced. Kritam performed. Cha and yet whatever. Asat unreal. Iti thus. Uchate is called. Partha origin. Na not cha and that that pratya here after after death na not here here now see the translation whatever is offered is oblation given is charity practiced is austerity and done as worship without faith is said to be asad it Fructify says neither here nor hereafter, O Arjuna. Now Sri Krishna is giving full stop. Full stop. Asraddhaya hutam dat. In spirituality, Sraddha, the faith, is the very, very important foundation. It is a foundation. It should be very, very strong very solid, then you can make a building of spirituality. If you have faith and you do not know the scriptural process, Sri Krishna says, yes, say Om Tat Sat, then you can do. Lord can manage everything for you. But faith is needed. This chapter is Sraddha Trai Vibhag. Faith is the foundation. If there is no faith, faith means where? Where? Faith means the belief in the consciousness. Faith means I, I believe, very strongly I believe in myself. Faith means that. If you believe in yourself, then you can believe in the God. If you don't believe in yourself, see, I it does not mean I am not I am not indicating your mind, your intellect. I am talking about you. If you believe in in yourself, your I am talking self. I am not talking about your body. I am not talking about your mind, your intellect. I am talking about self. If, if someone believes in the self which is within, that person can believe in the God. So first thing is Sraddha, the faith. Without faith, if someone, someone is doing some oblation, sacrifices, it will not make any any 
result. It, it may be good for atmosphere. If you are warning the pure ghee, the rice is, says me, it, it would be the good for atmosphere, not for you. It is good. If you eat one chili, you will suffer alone. But if you burn the chili in the fire, not only you will suffer, the entire art, uh, surrounding will suffer. One chili can make more effect in the burning condition. But it is not enough. So without Shraddha, the austerity, Sri Krishna says, austerity, the tapaha, doing the charity, doing the pilgrimage. See, people are doing what? And so many efforts they are making in the name of the spirituality. If they don't have faith, only faith will make difference. People are going to the Kailas Mansarova. If there is no faith, they are not different from them those who are going to the mountain Everest. What the difference? Only faith will make difference. So Sri Krishna says, without faith, asraddhaya, whatever we are doing, whatever is being done without faith, Sri Krishna says, it is asad. Asad means non-reality. It, it would appear as a good activity. It appear. But it is asad, illusion. Asad means you are Vedant student, so you know meaning of the asad. Appearance. Nothing is there. Asad. They will not provide you expected results which they are supposed to give. They will not, because they are asad, they are not there. Parth, O Arjun, nachatat prete no iha. Without faith, whatever, whatever, no matter how difficult, how difficult work you have done, how difficulties you have faced in the name of the spirituality, Sri Krishna says, this is asad, it will not give any result in this in this body. Here, here in this life. In this life. And we believe that if I have done some good activity like Yajya Tab in this life, I'm not getting its benefits, then I think after death I will get it. Yes, I will get it. But Sri Krishna says, if it is be, it was done without faith, its its expected result will not meet in this life. Tat prete no ihya. See similarity in Sanskrit and English. No means the same, very same meaning. No. No ihya. In this life, they will not get its benefits, and after death also, they will not going to get its benefit. They are asat, zero. So now, conclusion is, Sri Krishna says, Swarchun, if, if someone has faith, it will make difference. If you know the scriptures, that's great. That's a great combination. You know the scripture, you have faith. Absolutely perfect. If someone does not know the scripture rules and he has a faith, then whatever you do, just chant Om Tatsat. 
in the beginning and ending. If there is no faith, then whatever action you have done, it makes nothing and nothing and nothing. So thus we have completed this topic, very important topic. It these two, two chapters, 16 and 17, they are showing the mirror to us. Very, very important. And uh, we have done. Om Puranamadaha Puranamidam Puranat Puranamudachate Puranasya Puranamadaya Puranameva Vasishate Om Santi Shanti Santi Shankaram Sankaracharyam Keshavam Vadarayanam Sutra Bhasigrita Ubande Bhagavanta Puna Puna Isharu Guru Ratmeti Murti Beda Vivagine Bioma Vadavyapta de Haya Dakshina Murtae Namaha Om Santi Shanti Santi Narayanam Namaskritya Naram Chaivana Rotamam Devim Saraswatim Vyasam Tato Jayamudira Eta Om Santi Santi Santi